Okay, I want to work uh, problem 423. What we have is a mass uh, that's connected to another mass via a set of pulleys. And what we want to do for this problem is to derive an equation for mass 1 moving in x direction. So the equation of motion uh, in terms of x. And essentially this is really one complete system, but how does that mass equal or uh, move with respect to x? I also want to add a little bit of complexity and, and actually add some friction. And essentially there is a little bit of friction, we'll call it C, and so it acts the same as a dampener um, on this system. Um, I could do the same thing as just draw a dampener uh, where the spring is, K. Uh, but just kind of imagine there's a uh, friction C. Now there's two approaches we could use with this problem. Um, the one approach is uh, what we want to do is assume the system is in equilibrium at or x is equal to zero when the system is in equilibrium. Um, but it simplifies the, the, the problem a little bit. And the approach we can take, uh, the traditional approach, would be deriving the equation for each mass, m1 and m2. And then we would have to combine those equations to come up with an overall equation in terms of x. <clears throat> or we can use the equivalent mass uh, to actually combine these two masses and uh, and come up with an over with one single equation in the end. Uh, so it, you, it basically each each approach takes two steps, um, depending on whatever you feel is easier. I will, for this example, actually use the equivalent mass method, and by doing that, what we assume or what we do is actually start up what start with what's the kinetic energy of the system. And the kinetic energy, if I were to draw and call this Y, okay, my kinetic energy is equal to one half m one x dot squared plus one half m two y dot squared where x and y have a relationship that uh, are related so that y is equal to 2x so if we have y is equal to 2x then I have y dot is equal to 2x dot. So the above equation is the kinetic energy is equal to 1 half. I'm going to pull that 1 half out on both of them and isolate uh, essentially the x dot. So I would have x dot squared. So I'd have m1 for the first term. And for the second term, if I were to put the 2x dot in place of the y dot, that would actually give me 4x dot squared. So this would be plus 4m2 times x dot squared. So from this, my equivalent mass is actually equal to um, m1 plus 4m2. so that my equivalent mass Me is equal to M1 plus 4M2. Okay. 
And my overall <coughs> free body diagram is then ME, okay? And since I, I don't have to worry about gravity because I assumed x is equal to zero at equilibrium, therefore the spring K is absorbing the gravity M2, okay? So the only the forces I have, if I were to pull uh, ME to the right, I have a force uh, of KX from the spring and a force of CX dot from the dampening or friction. So this is my free body diagram. So if I write the sum of the forces in the x direction, I would get me x double dot mass times acceleration. And my forces, I would have a negative kx and a negative cx dot. So the overall equation is mex double dot plus k x plus c x dot. I kind of put them out of order there. And that is the ordinary difference equation or the equation of motion for this system. There is no external input. Gravity was a conservative force that was counteracted by the uh, spring. So this is the resultant uh, ordinary differential equation. Now we'll look we'll look at the other method. I'll just uh, start over here, and we have essentially just the drawing again cleaned up. And with this method, what we would do is looking at the free body diagram of basically the pulley M1 and M2. So you'd have three. So for M1, we would have. we'll call it T, the tension pulling on M1, and then we'll have the KX and the CX dot. And the equation for this, the sum of the forces in the X direction is equal to M1 x double dot is equal to t minus k x minus c x dot so that is our first equation now we need to solve for t here and if we were to look at the pulley we have t pulling on the, on the left of the pulley and then we have T divided by 2 on the right hand side of the pulley and essentially we have that is able to uh, allow us to compare what is the joining forces between M1 and M2 so looking at the forces uh, up on M2. Now again we say that X is equal to zero at equilibrium and this is uh, the direction Y of M2 so that we don't look at uh, gravity. It is canceled out by the spring conservative force. So if I were to draw or write the sum of the forces actually I need to do my free body diagram. I have M2 and I have essentially just the uh, the force T over 2 times M2 and that would give me the equation where the sum of the forces in the y direction 
is equal to m2y double dot which is equal to t over 2 and y is equal to 2x therefore y double dot is equal to 2x double dot so if I were to plug that in then I would have m2 2 times m2 x double dot is equal to t over 2 now I essentially rewrite that again and just get in terms of t so I can plug it into the equation up here 1 so that I get t is equal to 4 m2 x double dot and plug that into equation 1 so that we get m1 x double dot is equal to 4 m2 x double dot minus kx minus cx double dot and I end up with the overall equation of m1 plus 4 m2 times x double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to zero and this is the same equation we had earlier except for we had me in here and that is me as we found it by using the equivalent mass ratio